And I think mm -hmm. the assumption for a lot of us sort of outside the scientific community is that the developments in science in the West, and not just in the West now, all around the world, are defined primarily, almost exclusively by that, here's a problem, let's solve it mentality, right? Mm -hmm. And it is very hard to imagine whether it's in biotechnology and genetic engineering or AI research or anything that we as a society could ever say no to something that could be done, right? And do you, do you think, mm -hmm. Can you imagine a world where we hit some inflection point in terms of what we can do as a species with technology where we were able to say maybe we shouldn't do that? I think we've already done some things that we've that certain people have said later maybe we shouldn't have done that. I guess but I'm thinking more prospectively, right? I yeah. mean, could I we, could we say could we say no to the thing it's to doing the thing itself, right? And yes, in yes. hindsight, we might say, well, we, you know, oops, we shouldn't have built Skynet and then it destroyed the right. world and the Terminators ran roughshod over everything, right? right. But exactly. if we could build yeah. Skynet tomorrow, yeah. somebody would see, it's my, my, my assumption as, you know, somebody who looks at this sociologically and doesn't even pretend to understand the underlying science is that the trajectory of our civilization is such that when doors open, we always end up walking through them. And it sounds like you're sort of thinking about, mm -hmm. you know, the question of, you know, saying, well, when we're on the threshold somewhere, mm -hmm. maybe we could, you know, think about what it means to walk through. But or, or we step back that and we that's see an, that's not the only door that's open. Right. But do you think that's an argument that could resonate widely with people at the frontiers of science? I, I think that People at the frontiers of science like a challenge. They like to do what people think they can't do. Right. And you have to understand those to motivations. Them for that. Yeah. And so that's why I don't I don't say take away certain pieces of the two existing axes. I say let's just add a third one that makes it even more challenging and makes it even harder uh, and hopefully appeals to a lot of people. I can't ever say everybody should adopt this third axis. Uh, I can say that when we work on that, we still are able to achieve the other two and do something that hopefully at the end of our lives will we'll feel like we feel really great that we worked on that.